guys, this is Shay with Throne and Thimble and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful bridal bouquet made completely out of affordable and upcycled materials. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. The first thing we are going to do is to create the general shape of our bouquet. So we're going to basically create the head of the bouquet and then a handle for us to hold on to. So for the head of the bouquet, I'm just using this styrofoam ball. You can buy it in a craft store or even a dollar store would have it. I got this one for about a dollar twenty-five, so definitely affordable. Um, and then for the handle of our bouquet, I'm going to be using toilet paper rolls. And if you're not into using that, you can definitely use a paper towel roll or gift wrap roll. It will work just the same. So we need to decide how long we want our handle to be. And it should be long enough for us to comfortably grab it with both hands with still a little bit of room at the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by cutting open all of my toilet paper rolls. That way I can adjust the height as needed. So now that they're all cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up two of them so that they overlap a little bit. And I think that that should probably be the right length for my bouquet handle. So what I'm going to be doing is gluing these two together at the seam so that they create one giant toilet paper roll that I'm going to be using for the handle of my bouquet. So definitely don't be stingy on glue. We want this to be nice and solid. Once our two rolls are glued together, um, I can decide how thick I want my handle to be. If I want it really thick, I can just glue it right there. If I want it a little bit thinner, I can roll it on top of itself a little bit more so that it's a little bit thinner. Um, this is completely up to you. I am going to go a little bit thinner than I want the finished handle to look like, simply because there's going to be quite a few additional layers of padding going on top of this as well. Um, so put some glue along your seam and glue that closed. When that glue is nice and dry, um, you can adjust any areas that might be misaligned. Um, ideally, we want this bouquet to be able to stand on its own. Um, so if we need to adjust any areas at the bottom, just to make sure everything is nice and level, we can definitely do that. And you can do that on both sides, just to make sure that it stands nice and straight. Um, now, just to make things uh, more polished and finished, I do like to put a little piece of cardboard at the bottom of uh, my bouquet handle just to make sure that it's closed um, and that definitely helps when we wrap it with the next couple of layers um, and you can definitely use your remaining toilet paper rolls for this. Um, just cut out a general shape, apply some glue. and glue it down and you can trim around that base once the glue is nice and dry. So our next step is connecting our handle to the head of the bouquet. Um, and there's not really an easy way to do that. Um, what I like to do is to just kind of score the area that I want it to go into so that it leaves a mark um, and then use my scissors to kind of Make that hole a little bit bigger. Sorry for the noise. I know styrofoam noise is just the worst. <laughs> um, and once you have that area a little bit more defined there to the point where that base can slide in there a little bit more, 
um, then we can go ahead and add our hot glue. And in some cases, hot glue does melt styrofoam a little bit. Um, so that will definitely help to melt those two pieces together um, to really create a secure connection so that it's on there. Just making sure it's nice and straight. I don't want things to get lopsided and we wait for it to cool down. So once that glue is nice and cooled down and hardened, the next step is that we're going to be wrapping our bouquet handle using felt. And the reason why we use felt is because it is a thicker material. So it does help to smooth over any of our seams to really create a nice smooth finish on our handle. There's gonna be a couple more layers on top. So it doesn't matter too much the color of your felt. I picked blue just because that's what I had in my stash. Um, but you can definitely pick white or cream, whatever goes with your bouquet colors. So you can see here that I'm just using a scrap of felt just because that's what I had in my stash. You're not gonna need a whole sheet of felt for this, but again, felt is a very inexpensive material. You can get a whole sheet for about 30 cents from the craft store or the dollar store. Um, so definitely a very inexpensive and affordable material for this particular craft. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is just hot gluing it all the way around, making sure that um, we are working in sections. That way we can make sure that everything is straight and lined up, adding more glue as we go along um, and making sure that we're covering everything nice and evenly and smoothing over all of those seamed areas. Once we're all wrapped up, including the bottom, make sure to finish that off nicely. Um, the next step for us is to wrap it up with ribbon. Um, and this is where you can really use any color of ribbon that goes um, either with your dress or that ties into your color theme with the rest of the wedding. Um, for today's purposes, I'm just using white because that pretty much goes with everything. Um, but this is a really great opportunity. You can do different color ribbons intertwined together. Um, the possibilities are endless. It really depends on what your style is. Um, and we're just going to start by gluing it off to one end and spiraling it all the way to the bottom. You can definitely add layered ribbons on there. I'm thinking I might add this sheer organza ribbon in there as well um, and layer that right on top of the white one. We'll see how that turns out. Once you're happy with how your bouquet handle is looking wrapped in the ribbon of your choice, it's time to start adding our flowers to the head of the bouquet. And you can definitely use any kind of faux flowers or plastic or silk flowers. I'm using these paper flowers that I made and these are my coffee filter flowers. If you're interested in how to make those, I'll link the tutorial above. Um, and I'm just trimming that stem and sticking it into the styrofoam bowl. Now the styrofoam wall that I'm using is very dense, so it's, it can be a little bit of a struggle to get that stem in there, but I know it is secure and it's going nowhere. Um, depending on your situation, you might want to add a little bit of glue to that stem just to help it hold in place. You can see that I'm also trimming my stems so that they're not too long before I stick them into the styrofoam ball. Um, and ideally you would want your stems to be about two to three inches in length. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want those stems to end up meeting in the center of that ball um, or bumping into each other or uh, basically preventing me from adding the number of stems that I want. So keeping them short enough so that they're not interfering with each other, but long enough that they're grabbing on and providing a secure hold. That's the happy medium that we're aiming for here. As you are adding your flower stems, keep in mind as well the distribution of the different colors and different textures of the flowers as well. Uh, you want to make sure that it is distributed evenly, 
um, all the way around your bouquet globe there at the top and you can take a moment to step back from your bouquet and turn it around to make sure that you're getting a nice even look all the way around. And we keep adding flowers until we're happy with the way that our bouquet is starting to look or until we run out of flowers, whichever comes first. Um, and you can also transition to adding some smaller flowers or smaller elements as well in between these larger flowers to help fill in any gaps. And I'm using some of my cupcake holder flowers and I'll link the tutorial for that above as well. For this bouquet, I've added quite a few other elements like my ribbon roses, some foliage leaves, some plastic leaves as well from the dollar store, some feathers. Um, you can really have a lot of fun with this. Um, on the day of my wedding, I actually added a few little branches of baby's breath as well just to add to the natural look and I used some of the silk leaves towards the base just to create a little bit of a different look. One of the amazing things about making your own faux bouquet is that you get to keep it after your wedding um, and you get to display it in your home as part of your decor. I display my bouquet in this painted jar left over from uh, one of my centerpieces and I use that as my dining room decor and I'm very proud of it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I really hope that you give this a try. Um, if you do, post a photo on Instagram and tag me at Throne and Thimble because I would love to check it out. Uh, make sure to check out my blog and the rest of the information in the description below. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future DIYs. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!